things up against me. Yes. Okay. So long as I'm on live here, my phone is like it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy what's happening. Like my phone been acting crazy since I was trying to get out there in them protesters and get y'all some footage, okay? So um I don't know what's up with that. We ain't even worried about it. I this is the reason why each and every time I get here, y'all probably don't even see this, but I'm gonna record it and upload it to YouTube, okay? Um, because I know that um, social media is checking for certain verbiage, okay? They're checking for certain words like Black liberation, um, Black Lives Matter, um, anything that sets that sets us apart from what's happening now, they, they flagging our stuff. Now, you might not, they might not straight up take you off of um, social media or anything like that, but your views going to be lower than they were. Like, um, your friends probably not even seeing your stuff. Okay, like seriously, it's, it's going down. All right, unbeknownst to us and what we know in public. So, I'm a, I'm not gonna hold you long because I need to get back. Need to get back home. All right, but I wanted to come here. Are right, you see me dressed in my all black? Because it's game time. Do you understand me? It's time to use everything that we've been putting together over the last past weeks. Okay, use it. And then we reach out to other individuals who can help us on our path to fight this fight because that's what it's all about. And I'm not necessarily saying that it's time to fist fight. I ain't saying that, but it is. We need some of that going on. I'm not saying that it's only time to march a protest, but it is. We need that going on. I'm not saying that it's just we just supposed to sit in the corner and pray and pray, but we need that going on. What I'm saying is we need all that as a collective to happen now. And you need to understand that there are going to be some people in your group that you're going to move with that's not going to be on the front lines with you. Maybe they're in the third, fourth line. All right? Like, it's going to be some, it's going to be some people there that's only there to, to fight. They're not here to talk. So you got to understand that. You got to understand that you need all of that. You need the entire body. So let's get into it. I ain't going to keep you long. I ain't going to keep you long. Today on Manifesting Mondays, we are talking about manifesting the collective group of people around us who are going to help us fight this fight, okay? You got to manifest those people around you, okay? All right, cool. Control is number one, how you do it. When I talk about control, I saw a meme. I wrote down some notes because I can't come to you guys unscripted. I can't come to y'all unscripted because I don't know what to say out my mouth considering stuff like this. I don't, okay? So, hey, all right. So control is number one though, right? All right. Control how you respond when you feel disrespected. I saw this on a meme with Nip Nipsey Hussle attached to it, right? And I saw this over the past couple of weeks. It was like last month, like early last month when I saw it. And the universe had been working with me uh, uh, with how I respond, how I talk to people when I feel disrespected or when my people is disrespected and I need to come forth and tell them something about it. The universe has been dealing with me on how to do that, because I'm gonna tell you the truth, and shame the devil in a moment of transparency. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I say, what the hell I got to say? Back to the paper, back to the paper, okay? So we have to control what we doing, okay? Control ourselves, control how you respond when you feel disrespected. By responding, okay? By responding, but if you, if you, if you don't control how you respond, why you feel disrespected, you are misusing your power. All this power that you have up inside of you, all this passion that I was just talking about, I'm, I'm very knowledgeable of what's going on. I know exactly what it's going to take to fix it. But when you get me in this position and I feel some certain type of way, and in the bottom of my stomach, I'm angry and the tears is forming up behind my eyes, I may say some shit that make you look at me like I'm an angry black woman. So I have to control how I speak to you when I feel disrespected because I'm harnessing my power. Do you understand me? You have to be able to direct your power in a certain manner because these people are waiting for an opportunity to say angry black man, angry black woman for no reason. What's the point? What's the point? You can't even, we can't even hear you. You're so mad. They're waiting for that. Do you understand me? So you have to control yourself. Control yourself. Um, when you control yourself, if you don't control yourself in this situation, you're going to make uninformed decisions. Just like we have individuals who are around here in the, in the city right now some of us we understand what we're doing we got our commands in our heads and what we what we expect to happen by flipping shit and then the other group of people is just flipping shit do you understand me either way you look at it i'm gonna tell you how i view this situation we can use all of them to flip shit 
but what shit is we flipping? People have to understand that because a group of young brothers may not know that we own a few of them buildings right there, don't fuck them up. Excuse my language, I told you, I got a script. Stick, stick to the script. Stick to the script. Uninformed decisions. If you do not control yourself in the, in the means of you being upset, then you will not be able to take this situation and use it to your advantage. You are not going to be in a place where your team can use you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're just doing shit. You're just doing shit. We got to be organized for this. We tried to do shit before, right? Martin, Malcolm, tried to do shit before. So we take that information, we take that knowledge, we take those moves, and we, we put some other stuff on it. Okay, we put some wisdom on it. We put some control into it. We get some strategy happening here. We organize some things. We got to control the situation. Number two, self-awareness. Who are you? What you bring to the table? Are you a leader? Are you a fighter? Are you a speaker? Are you a prayer? Because we need them. Let's not get away from the fact that we still need the elders in the corner praying over us. Because we still do. We need the elders in the corner and the holistic people. We need y'all in the corners praying over top of that energy that's coming towards us. Praying against these people that's coming towards us. Praying against their soldiers. We need them. So let's not count our spirituality and say that we're tired of praying. What? No, nah, we need that too. Self-awareness though. Who are you? What you bring to the table? Don't worry about if somebody else bring it to the table and how light it is compared to how you knock somebody out and their hymns and when they pray, that ain't got nothing to do with you, baby. T together is a force to be reckoned with. Do you understand me? So you have to first identify who you are. What you doing? Which, what, what have you been doing? Your mindset. You control the power within you, okay? You are not inferior. That's something else that we have to understand about self-awareness. All this time our jogging is messed up. Shout out to ZB. Because a while back, a few weeks ago, she was like, stop, stop calling them white people. We are, and stop saying white supremacy. We know. That's edifying the fact that we are inferior to somebody. I don't care who it is. So you got to change that. Because we are not inferior. Inferior. We just grown up in a society that has conditioned us to think it so. We come from, we come from a, a history of family where our grandfathers and our grandmothers taught us. You got to hold your head down. You got to, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. We, we conditioned to know that. But with being self-aware, you identify your power within you. You know that you are royalty. You are not inferior. We just got some work to do to prove it. Do you understand me? Self-awareness. Self-awareness. Number two, I ain't going to keep you long. I told you. I ain't going to keep you long. Come on. Keep me together, Holy Spirit. Number three, <laughs> y'all, because I am on fire. Do you hear me? Anyway, number three, unified. You might not want to hear it. I'm telling you the truth. I'm, t I'm telling you the truth. You know, the Bible that we all get in a disarray about, that we don't agree about, ooh, Bible, ooh, ministry, ooh, church, Christians, ugh. All that stuff that we be talking about. Let me tell you something. In Matthew 5, it talks about unity. You heard a lot in the world where we've heard before, love your enemies, love your brother, turn the other cheek. Let me tell you something. In ministry and talking to one of my co-leaders, I identified that the word is not telling us to love that person over there. It's telling us to love our own. It's telling us to turn our cheek to our own so we can get past what's holding us back from fighting them. Because as we continue to, I'm going to use my fingers, as we continue, you see this brown hand right here? It's all brown, but it got fingers on it. And as we continue to operate as fingers all around here, we got the Crips, the Bloods, the folks. Yes, I'm going there. I said it. We got the popular people, the whack people, and the nerds. We got, we got the rich black people, the halfway broke people, and the broke, broke people. We got Creighton, Mosby, Church Hill. We, no! We got to act as a fist. Because as long as we still see ourselves as separate, they got ways to come through us. They can get us. Do you understand me? You can't get through no fists. Do you hear me? You can't get through no fists. So we have to operate as a fist. It takes us to unify. We have to, and been a lot of stuff going on in our communities where we hurting one another. We beefing too hard with one another. It's some things that you feel like you can't forget, and I know that. Do you understand me? I know that. Families been beefing for generations and generations, and it got to stay that way. That's what you think. That's what they want us to think. They want us to think like that. They want us to think black on black crime. They want us to think that we can't, we can't bind up together. They want us to think that every time we get together, we some thugs and we deface and stuff for no reason. We got a reason, but we got to get organized, control ourselves, be self-aware, unify, 
to activate the reason. We can't do that if we continue to follow along the paths. Pick my script back up. We cannot do that if we continue to follow along the paths that we've been following along. We cannot do that. We have to bind together. So I'm here today to fortunately change your mindset. And if you're from the streets, ye, if you're from the streets, you ain't from the streets, if you're from the streets, I don't know. Either way you look at it, you need to tell a youngster, tell a group of youngsters today what the game is because they don't know. They don't know. All they know is they mad. A little, uh, one of my little brothers from St. Louis, he um, hit up one of the brothers that's incarcerated. He, he going off. He like, ah, yeah, I don't know, because we just out here flipping shit because that's what they do. And we're going to do it back. And that's what we're doing. And if we had somebody to tell us what to do, I think we'll be with it if the shit made sense. And I said, ah, light bulb. Light bulb. It got to make sense to them. They don't know what they're doing. They're just doing all this passion, all this fury, all this fight. They don't know where to put it at, so they just put me. We have to teach them. We have to teach our people how to fight accurately. Most importantly, though, you got to manifest the right people in your group. Because you can't fight by yourself. I don't care what you think. I don't care how comfortable it is. I don't care how much you don't like people. You cannot fight this fight by yourself. It won't happen. So I think that you should get with a collective and let the, the, uh, the leader or the leaders of the collective join up with other leaders and their collective body of people. And that's how we begin operating this thing differently because you have to understand that as long as we stay separate, as long as we continue to act erratically, they're going to get us every single time. Every single time. Corona is not over. This is the second phase of Corona. Do you hear me? This is the second phase of Corona. It's all a pandemic. It's been a pandemic. Don't you hold that up. You got to manifest greatness. You understand me? That's all I got today before I start talking some other stuff. I'm Lady CEO, and I'm here for Manifestation Monday. You see me, I'm on all bullshit, but I'm going in the house. I'm going in the house because my mama called me. If my mama called me one more time, talking about something, they might think you're a rebel. I am. I'm out.